CVS. It looks like they have a dupe for Badescu's drying lotion. It's sulfur, zinc, and salicylic acid. Problem with this and the Badescu one is that they both have camphor in them, which is often irritating, but otherwise, those are logical ingredients. Have a CVS benzoyl peroxide bar for body acne. Ooh, now this is new. Panoxyl overnight spot patches. Is this hydrocolloid dressing, like the um, pimple patches? I mean, that's what they are. Cool. That's new. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night. Still going strong in all of its offense. Garnier just couldn't resist the watermelon train. Smoothing milky wash. Hyalu melon. Bania sea and canopy. Huh. Garnier has a CBD sunscreen. It's not labeled. Oh yeah, broad spectrum SPF 30. Hmm. Has anyone tried these CND nail colors? Who is CND? For some reason, I, that makes me think of Cindy Crawford, but like Cindy, <laughs> CND, get it? <laughs> I don't know why. I kind of like this green gator green these good kind pure nail polishes are pretty good m&m's has just gotten too fancy fudge brownie franken cup <laughs> they're green mm -hmm. That's cute. Wait, Walgreens has some unique Halloween candy. I haven't seen these. Even a hundred grand. Pumpkin pie Kit Kat? What the? Seems like it's going a little too far with the pumpkin spice. <laughs> Greens or CVS has Tuscany Candle Harvest Woods. Now I have not seen this scent. Nor did I didn't realize that Walgreens. I mean CVS carried Tuscany. Cool. It's like these jelly toys randomly inserted amongst the hairspray. Little gnome. Christmas, anyone? Pop nail glam. I wonder if these are good colors. Like if they stay. Something tells me they're probably not. They're pretty though. Especially like that blue. It's unique. Hmm. I didn't realize Voss had jumped on the uh, sparkling water train. I've never had Voss water before. It seemed ridiculously overpriced. This is all bottled water. Hey guys, happy Sunday. I've got the good parking garage lighting going on right now. So I, I thought I would take advantage of it to introduce the vlog. Um, I just fulfilled my uh, civic duty this morning. Uh, fortunately, I was able to do that early so I don't have to actually go on the day of, of the deed. So yeah, that felt good, very fast. 
no line. Um, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, I don't know if you caught it in the intro footage, I've been getting questions for a while now. Um, how many pumps of that dermatology sunscreen do I use? And it takes me five pumps to cover my head, my face, and the majority of my neck, and then about a little, mm, we'll say six pumps in total to also get the rest of my neck and my ear. So anywhere from five to six pumps. Um, and the pumps, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but each time you pump, it just puts out a small amount, which I kind of like because, I, I don't know, I like going piecemeal with small amounts. It reduces pilling quite a bit. If you just put a big glob on, then you're more likely to get pilling and whatnot. So, yeah, that's how many pumps that I use, and I like putting it on the back of my hand. That way I get a little extra SPF on the backs of my hands, of course, which is another location you should be applying. And this morning I ran to the drugstore, as you guys may have already seen, uh, if I put that in the beginning or not. I don't know, we'll see what order I do this. Um, and I don't know, I may run over to, <clears throat> I may run over to Tar J. we'll see, we'll see. But I kind of want to get out of this parking garage because there have been some crimes in here and I do not want to be a victim of a uh, snatch and grab. So let's get a move I'm on. I'm in here in Home Goods and they have a ton of Christmas decor out. You guys know how much I love hot dogs. <laughs> I like that oh, swizzle tree. was rather crowded and they did have music playing pretty loudly in there so I'm not sure how much footage I'm gonna be able to insert into this video but oh I wanted to show you guys do you remember I bought this from Costco a while ago it's a little zip up hoodie I got this color and like a cream color it's so comfortable which doesn't surprise me because I believe it's 32 degree brand which is always a win but I don't want to take it off. I've been wearing this in the house like nonstop and it washes up really well too. It's super soft. I did snag something in Home Goods. I could not resist this. I did not go in there expecting to come out with this. Let me show you all. I saw this Tavolo, Tavolo knife. I've heard good things about these knives and I've I've been kind of in the market for a new knife, but what sucked me in are these little holes because you can um, de-stem, you can strip your herbs. And you guys know I'm all about my new little herb garden. So I thought we could try this out. Um, I've got some mint that is taking over my herb garden. Who has time to strip time by hand? <laughs> I'm so funny, I forgot to laugh. Let's go take a trimming with my precision pruner here. Get all these high-tech gadgets just to get some herbs. My goodness, this thing. All right, we're gonna try mint. We're gonna try it with mint because that's really who needs to be taken down a few notches the most. Let's get this here. 
I recently trimmed a lot of the time off and ate it, so that's why that's not as voluminous as it once was. Mint's kind of taken over. All right, let's test this out. I think I put it... Whoa, you guys! That is handy. I think I kind of did it the wrong way, maybe. Maybe it would go better the other way around. It's kind of hard to put it in that way. Let's try the skinny hole. Oh yeah, the skinny hole's better. Wow. That was an impulse worth making just for this, just for this hole, the knife itself could be. I had a fun idea that we could make some brownies together. Hooray! I have two avocados that are worse for wear incubating in the refrigerator because they're squishy. And I came across a recipe on the Tone It Up app for some brownies that use avocado. So I think I'm gonna try making those. That banana bread I made last weekend, oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. Um, and I wanna make some muffins with my new little muffin, silicone muffin pan that I got, but I think I'm gonna do the brownies first because I need to get rid of the avocado. All right, for this recipe, you just need two tablespoons of coconut oil, which I have here, and I'm going to nuke in the microwave so it's liquidy. And you need, of course, the two avocados that are prompting me actually making this. And you use either two chia eggs or two flax eggs. So I'm gonna do <clears throat> six tablespoons of water. I'm gonna put the water in to my glass first because Chia seeds all the lump on the bottom if I do the chia seeds first. I've had this conversation before about how annoying this Nutiva chia seed bag is for getting in and out. Oh geez. Good enough. One. The only thing I'm going to do different or deviate is the recipe calls for two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm out of peanut butter. They want you to drizzle the peanut butter over the brownies when they come out. Sounds delicious, but we're just going to make them plain. I suppose I could put the mint in the brownies, but I don't know. You know, mint and chocolate. I know that's really popular, but I don't know. I'm going to do that. All right, let's test out the new knives with this avocado. I don't buy avocado that frequently. I'm just not, I'm not really a fan of avocado, to be honest with you. I like it, I don't hate it, but I don't go out of my way to like eat it. Ooh, I think this one is. Oh, yes, easy peasy. Yeah, the banana bread from last weekend, so good. Highly recommend that. All right, let's see if this guy is gonna be as, as cooperative as his brother. I don't know why. I've decided they're siblings. <laughs> But they are. All right, first of all, we're going to mash the avocado, which is pretty easy to do when it's a smushy. All right, and to that, we're just going to add our two tablespoons of coconut oil. And our two chia eggs. And 
And we're gonna do half a cup of maple shizzer. How can this be bad? <sighs> Dirtied the half cup for no reason. Oh well. I ain't mad at you, boo. Why am I talking to an empty bottle of maple syrup? <laughs> All right, we also need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. With all this baking I've been doing, I'm gonna be needing to replenish some of these things like obviously you. Um, remind me, you guys, next weekend at the club, I need to get some maple syrup. Costco has pretty good maple syrup. The only problem is the jug, you know, I keep it in the refrigerator. It starts to get kind of crystals all on the outside. Did we say half a teaspoon? I think we did. All right. I find that um, vegan protein powders do really well in recipes like baking as opposed to when I used to use um, whey protein back when I was an omnivore. It always kind of come out a little tough. It smells really good too. We have a cup of either oat flour or almond flour. I'm gonna do almond flour because I don't feel like grinding up oats to make oat flour but that's really it's really easy to do you just put full rolled oats in a food processor or blender pulse so you get the fine flour and you're good i got the hershey's special dark i really enjoy this cocoa. Mm. and half a teaspoon of baking powder I love the Kroger baking powder. It has a, I guess all baking powder has. Why am I calling out Kroger like they came up with this? But I love how baking powder has the leveler built in. Why don't all powdered baking items do that? It's just like, like for example, cocoa needs, needs the le leveler built in. Somebody call Hershey's. <laughs> Get the CEO of Hershey's on the line stat. We need to have a condo. All right, I just actually read the directions. I was, so I was fooling you guys this whole time into thinking I was reading the directions, but I wasn't because if I had read the directions and I would have noticed that you're supposed to put the wet ingredients together and the dry ingredients together in a separate bowl and then mix them all together. But I conveniently ignored that because you wanna know what? I don't wanna have to clean two bowls of brownie batter stuff. I got this on the Amazonian. I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of nonstick, but it's pretty handy. It's easier to get stuff out. All right, into the oven she goes. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. I'm nuking it for 35 minutes. All right, so it's been cooling for a while and then I just flipped it over onto the uh, cutting board here and it came out in one solid blonk. <laughs> and so I'm gonna cut it into, it says there are nine servings, so I'm gonna cut it into nine little squares. You can still see the avocado chunks. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I should have mushed it up more, but it was good and mushed up. I don't know, maybe that'll give it a little depth of feel. Come a little closer. Let's taste it out. Taste it out, let's taste it. This is a pretty large brownie. I should get a plate, right? It holds up pretty well too. 
you know, it doesn't crumble or fall apart. That is gitter. Move over, Duncan Hines. It's really good. Um, it's fudgy. If you, I mean, brownies should be fudgy. This is extra fudgy. It's delicious. Get up on in there, you guys. Get up. <laughs> it's really good. Little, a little bit crumbly, but I ain't mad at you. I think it would be good with those cacao nibs in. Definitely would be good with the peanut butter. I mean, there are very few things that are not improved by peanut butter, including a hot dog, which you guys know, I love to hate hot dogs, not a fan. Um, yeah, I think peanut butter probably would improve a hot dog. You'd need a lot of peanut butter though, a lot of peanut butter and a little jelly. This, I'm not mad at. I I love these. Hey okay, guys, it is the end of the night and I just had a thought about Christmas decorations. Remember last year I said I wanted to put up a second tree in my room and make it a ballet tree or like nutcracker theme because I have a lot of ballet ornaments. I still want to do that but I have since acquired the treadmill which is in the spot that I was planning to put the second Christmas tree. I think I can squeeze it in, squeeze it into that little corner there. Yeah, I um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to move forward with that plan. I think that was a good idea. Um, it doesn't need to be a big one. I think like one of those pencil trees would look cute. Just to have a little extra festive. I need all of the cheer, what with 2020 being such a such such a mood boost um i'm gonna go big on my christmas decor because i don't know i always enjoy christmas decorations anyways but yeah they um they had some good stuff at home goods but i don't really need any new christmas decorations i do want one of those i do want a new tree though for in here i liked that idea should I get a white tree, like the one that I have, I'm going to put in my living room, my, my regular tree? Should I get another white one? I think white looks pretty. And I think it would look extra pretty with the ornaments on it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you for coming along. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.